The chairman of the People's National Convention, Bernard Mona, says the turnout at the Tukusai demonstration by members of the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voter Register in Tamale is proof that majority of Ghanaians are not in favor of the Electoral Commission's decision to compile a new voters register. He spoke with my colleague Aisha Yakubu. Members of the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voters Register on Saturday, January 18, hit the streets of Tamale to demonstrate against the Electoral Commission's decision to compile a new voters register for this year's general elections. The demonstration, which is the first of many to be held across the country, was attended by some leading politicians. National Chairman of the PNC, Bernard Mona, and leading member of IPRAM, is of the view the huge number of people who joined the Tikusai demonstration proves the majority of Ghanaian citizens are not in favor of the new voters register. The numbers that came out was, in my opinion, telling of the fact that majority of Ghanaians are not in favor of a new register. It is their opinion that a new register at this time will throw our elections and our democracy out of order and it could jeopardize the peace that we have enjoyed for close to 30 years. Citizens are in favor of ensuring that we are able to protect the peace, and we do know that elections, particularly when there are suspicions surrounding elections issues, can degenerate the country. The Electoral Commission has justified the need for a new voter register, citing the current one as overbloated. Bernard Mona insists the current data does not need to be changed while urging the EC to listen to the voice of the people since they are the ones who decide those who should lead the country. There is no independence without the will of the people of this nation. And the people say that what we are going to do will jeopardize peace, stability and the democracy of our nation. Will the Delta Commission be mindful of the power inherent in the people? The data that we have is a solid data. If the Electoral Commission is claiming that their equipment are obsolete, changing obsolete equipment has nothing to do with changing the data. He says IPRAN will do whatever it takes to ensure that the country's democracy is protected. So we want to tell the Electoral Commission that this is not just a one-off event. We will take all legitimate means to ensure that the will of the people survives and that our democracy is protected. Some people will be in court. Some people will be picketing, will be at the airports. We will let everybody know that this Electoral Commission is determined to steal the will of the people of Ghana and we will not allow them. 